So we are back to update the free-to-play tier list for Dragon Ball Z, Dokkan Battle, TUR, and above. Uh, we are doing this straight after the Goku Day Celebration 2022. Last time we did this was Saiyan Day, so we got a few characters to rank. I did move some previously ranked characters around, so some could be higher or lower from the previous, but nothing to be concerned of. But uh, let's just jump straight into it here. Uh, we have, what, 11 characters in here to rank. From Vegeta all the way to the Para Para Brothers. Obviously, this is not ordered, but it's okay. Let's just jump straight into the gut of things. Prime Battle Vegeta is probably, like, the most anticipated character, I guess you could say. And uh, being a pure Saiyan's leader, 130, which is a really good leader skill. I think he has solid defense. I wouldn't put him Z tier, but I think still he is worthy of being in the S tier. Uh, really high up there. Uh, regardless of if he doesn't have like groundbreaking defense or anything like that, I think the leader skill, the links that he has, and um, even just like the raised defense and multiple attacks is really, really, really good. And, um, you know, a card that I really needed, to be honest. So, yeah, he can go around here, which is fine with me. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's not really ordered too much. If anything, because I had to reset this whole tier list because I changed browsers. Uh, I had to do this, like, copy it from, like, my previous video, and the order is definitely out of place. So now you just look at it as A, S, or Z character. I might be considering putting another tier, maybe S+, plus or Z+, plus, and moving up some characters, because I feel like you can get some of these characters out of S and move them higher, but I don't think they're, like, Z tier worthy, though. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so now we'll do Goku and Gohan. I guess we'll go in order here. Goku and Gohan has upgraded quite a bit. Obviously, I can't use them, but because we know their details, we have a little bit of a hint of what they can do. As a third slot unit, I honestly would put them Z. As a third slot unit, they're... Other than, like, maybe that middle unit not getting the best links, but still, you should have, like... Like, they're key sufficient, obviously, in the third slot. They get additional attacks on... Well, additional super attack... Uh, heal back, raise defense, 12 key raises defense, 130% Goku's family, which is amazing. I think, honestly, you could definitely put it as a Z tier character. Good for long events, good for short events with that ceiling um, and everything like that. I think you could put it on... I think it should be on the same tier as Gohan or maybe just a bit better than Gohan. Honestly, I had some mind of putting Gohan in Z tier, but for now, I think... Uh, we'll, we'll put Goku in Z tier. I haven't personally used him, so I don't know how fast his defense raise is, but I assume because he's got LR stats and everything like that. And even without the EZ8, I felt like he was a very strong character to begin with. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do it like that. Uh, Tabu is probably a high A. I don't think he's S tier per se. I think he has good effects, but, um, you know, Siblings Bond is not that great for free to play. Because uh, he support it. His orb changing is nice, but yeah, it's pretty hard to get. He's like full restriction and provide support. So yeah, he will just sit an A just because his restrictions are a little bit too tough for me right now to be consistently using him all the time. Uh, then we have the Goku's family units. I think, uh, I don't even remember where they were in previously. I think Goten goes into low S. I think he's definitely one of the better ones. Gohan... And Goku could probably go low A? I don't know. I don't like Goku as much. I think he's a little bit awkward. I might just put him in high B. Just because usability-wise, I probably would never use him. But if I ended up using him, he'd be really good. So I'd probably just put him up there. Maybe Cell can go low A as well because he got that 200% leader now. We'll do that. So yeah, I think Gohan's fine. He has a pretty you know, decent restriction. He's obviously not the highest in percentage wise or stat wise, but still the restriction is much more tasteful than uh someone needing a specific well, go ten specifically on the rotation to get his late turn effects to then <laughs> be considered decent. You know what I mean? Alright, so Gotenks is actually I would consider an S tier unit. I think Gotenks is really good. As long as you can lower its defense, sorry, I think he's a very, very, very strong unit. Um, obviously, you know, after a few turns, he does become lackluster. But, you know, outside of, like, IDBH and LGE, that, that restriction isn't too bad. Like, Super Battle Royale, he's going to be completely fine. Really fine, actually, because you can lower defense on any enemy. Uh, Ultra Red Zone is very specific, I guess. And, um... 
you know, God event, technically you can run him. Uh, then we have four more units. This is going to be a nice quick video because I already did the pre-editing because I had to reset and everything like that. Um, we have Kid Vegeta. I think Kid Vegeta is not an S tier, but an A unit. Just the same as any other Super Strike units. I think the restriction is just a bit too tough. Like, it's easier than some other units that we've already looked at. But, uh, realistically, I can't fulfill those because if I was to fulfill those, I would be making the team inherently weaker, if that makes sense. So, like, if I'm purposely trying to make... Well, unless I'm doing a youth team, obviously... But if I'm purposely putting him into Vegeta's family, then in order to make him work, I would need to make Vegeta's family team overall worse because I got to put a Trunks that is a youth that is gifted warriors. You know what I mean? And then have that as the main rotation. So in that instance, I'm going to have to put him at an A, but he can definitely sit in high A. I think he's very fine of a unit. And then Pan. Pan has... Uh, got her spot in either low S or A. I just haven't used her enough to the point where, like, I don't know where I'd run her because Goku's family, like, I, I think because of her non-restrictive nature, and you can definitely put her in the um, third slot still and, and still be fairly safe. I think I'm okay with putting her in S for now. And that does mean she is considered the best world tournament unit. Do you guys agree or outside of the LRs? Do you guys agree on that? Or oh, and High School Gohan and Cell. <laughs> but better than the uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. You let me know. I might move her down. Uh, I haven't used her too much, but because like her links are kind of meh. That's the problem. So I don't know if that is worthy still of an S just because she can be ran pretty much anywhere. And she has those inbuilt dodges and the guarantee crit and the ceiling as well. All right, so Trunks, uh, Saviors is pretty bad right now, but uh, he can be low A. I think his stats are decent enough and you can make things work. It's hard to put a Super Strike card on B because like they do have SA20, they do have Supreme Attack. And if you do run him on the team, it, it can be very useful. I feel like there's a niche spot for it, but... If you do make it work, he can definitely be A, so, yeah. Uh, like, I, I wouldn't say he's as bad as, like, Frieza versus a one enemy or as bad as Vegeta and Trunks. I think, that, like, Super Strike Trunks is better than the Vegeta and Trunks. And 8-bit Goku... 8-bit Goku could go in A, but... I just don't... I don't feel like... It. <laughs> I don't feel like it. <laughs> it's pretty much what it comes down to. Because I don't, I never use them. Paro Paro Brothers, I think, can go B, though. Uh, they are really defensively good. It's just that I there's no reason to use them. Uh, special Pose, GT... Not even GT Bosses, actually. Um, yeah, it's just not even... It's not worth it. But, like, if you do use them, they're actually pretty good. And their, like, Orb thingy -o is actually really nice. Like, position attacking is really, really nice. So... Like, you do sacrifice, like, a potential linking spot for third and potentially, like, you know, key and stuff like that. Well, not really, because if you get their thing, then they can get give you key. But, um, like, attack links and stuff, like, you are going to miss out with this character. But if you do get that high defense, so, yeah, it's just a sacrifice you're worth taking just because they do no damage whatsoever. Of course, it's not ordered. I just, you know, chucked them in here. Uh, and I, it's a pretty balanced tier list, if I'm going to be honest. Like, there's a pretty much, like, a, at least three rows for every single tier except for FZ, um, which is completely fine. I'm super excited to see what is going to be easy aid, uh, because once, eventually, you know, theoretically, once all of these easy A, well, except for Gochita, because he's already easy A, but what, and Android 13 and Trunks, once they're all easy A, like, we're going to have a situation where there will be no D tier, there will be no F tier. <laughs> so then there will be like a new tier list where this becomes the F, and then we, we start making, you know, it's like a Jenga situation pretty much. Uh, anyway, that's going to wrap it up for the tier list for 2022. 10th of May is when I'm making this. Hopefully no more free play cuts come out for the celebration or else I have to remake this video. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys thought on this tier list. 
And uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on the daily content. Check out my social medias linked in the description. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.